Hi, I just wanted to take this opportunity and make a video. Um, I was just talking to a friend from the group here online and how we're both kind of feeling just crappy today. And what we do have in common is we were both out in the community praying for people yesterday. And there's gonna be spiritual warfare for that. There's gonna be a backlash. Even if you continually mount up in the spirit, cover yourself in the blood of Jesus, get up and pray, do spiritual warfare prayers, cover yourself in the full armor of God. Maybe you are even blessed enough to have other people praying for you. You're still gonna feel it when you go out in the community and you cause ripples in the spiritual realm by being the warrior that you are. Especially the territorial spirits that know who you are in that region. They will do their best to oppress you the next day so you maybe don't think about doing it again but i'm just gonna say i'm gonna do it again and i'm gonna do it again and again and again and again everywhere that the holy spirit goes i go and when he stops i stop and when he tells me to talk to somebody i'm gonna talk to them who knows if that person is having such a bad day that they're thinking about going home and, uh, you know, unaliving themselves or hurting someone else or something. And maybe that's why it's so urgent that we listen to the Holy Spirit because His divine timing is perfect. Yesterday, I was out in the community praying for people. Um, Walmart is someplace I go often uh for work and stuff and uh i felt led to pray for this young woman who was so nice and um we got in line at the same time and she like insisted that we go ahead of her and i just thought that was really nice she's probably in her early 20s or something and uh i get outside and she's getting in her car and i just I was like, hey, um, can I talk to you? Like, I gotta acknowledge how awkward it is, but it's okay. Like, I felt led by the Lord to come talk to you and um, ask you about your dreams and let you know that the Lord is pouring those out upon you right now and that's why they are so vivid. And she was flabbergasted and elated and weepy all at the same time because she had just given her life to the Lord and was experiencing those things and I guess was just so surprised that the Lord knows her so well that he would send someone to her to, to kind of explain what's going on with her right now because he loves her so much and he always knows where she is. And I talked to her about dreams a little bit and the symbolism that the Lord uses in dreams uh, with cars. And uh, that was another confirmation for her because her boyfriend had gotten into a bad car wreck a couple weeks before and she kept having dreams about it. And so, it was just a really nice moment. We then stood there and prayed. And uh, I just pray that the Lord keeps her in his hand and um, helps her with her gifts and that she's able to decipher what he's saying through all things, but not in a box, not in a religious box. Um... After that, there was a car right next to hers. After she got back in the car and we kept walking, there was these guys in this really broke down car and they were all wearing bandanas and sunglasses. And they looked like tweakers, but you know, 
they could have been on any drug of choice, probably fentanyl. It goes quite nicely with meth, I hear. But they were looking at us and they were saying, I know your name. I know your name. I know your name. And the person I was with got a little bit scared. And I said, you know, it's okay. They know who we are by the spirit, but they can't touch us. So they didn't. They didn't even exit their cars because all they were trying to do was intimidate us. Maybe um, incite some sort of fear or paranoia with the release of the demonic chanting that they were doing. But because I've already been through that before and the gang stalking, I mean, I can see it coming. And it doesn't scare me because they can't touch me. All right. Well, I pray everyone is having a great day. And again, if you're not like me, I pray that we can just be grateful together that we are breathing and we are in these beautiful woods exchanging CO2 and oxygen the way the Lord made us so perfectly for reciprocity. God is all about reciprocity. Treetops and roots. Bye-bye.